Apple Notes is again getting more powerful. In iOS 16, iPadOS 16, and macOS Ventura, there are some pretty awesome new features. Let me show you what they are and how they work. I'll show you here on the Mac, but these all work on iPhone and iPad as well. So first off, smart folders are getting smarter. If I click new folder, and then I click make into smart folder, then you'll see that there's a lot of new options. I can filter on notes with certain tags by when they are created or edited, by whether they're shared, by whether someone was mentioned in the note, that's for shared notes, by whether the note includes checklists, attachments, by which folder it's in, by whether it's a quick note, a pinned note, or a locked note. And then I can make certain combinations of these. So that's pretty cool. I can also say it has to have this, but not that. So really complex. Let me give you an example. Let's Let's say I want to show all my coaching checklists. I'll show you what that means in a second. I'm going to say I want to see all of my notes that live in the coaching folder and that, and click the plus sign, to create a second rule, and that have checklists. I'm not going to say they have to be unchecked or checked or no checklist, but you can do that too. They have, to have any checklists. And I'm going to say OK. Now I've got this new smart folder. Let me just drag it here. And this actually shows me all of my notes that are in the coaching folder you can see here that have some checklists. So these are just some demo notes that I created. But you get the point, right? This is really, really cool. Before, the only thing you could do with a smart folder was show all notes that have a certain tag combination. Now you can get much smarter. Speaking of notes with tag combinations, if I just go back to my main notes folder, you can now say, hey, I want to see all notes, for example, that have my YouTube tag and my inspiration tag. You could do this before, but now if I click this again, now I can show all of my notes that match the YouTube hashtag but don't have the inspiration hashtag. This is pretty cool, right? You can also say, actually, let me turn this on. If I click over here, I want to see all notes that have any of the selected tags, not just all of the selected tags. So now I get show notes that match either inspiration or YouTube or both. Pretty cool again. Next up, you can use date headers. So if I just go to my main notes view and I scroll up here, you'll see that my notes are organized by notes I created today, notes I created yesterday, and notes I created in the past seven days. If I go over to notes and settings, there's a setting for that. It says group notes by date over here. If I turn that off, what you'll see is my notes will just show in the particular sort order that I like to have my notes sorted, which in my case is I like to have my notes sorted by date created. If I turn this on, it'll put those in those little categories. So that's pretty neat. You can now also collaborate on a note by directly sending the link to people. So the way you do that is you grab a note that you want to share, that you want to collaborate to use Apple Speak, and you click the share icon over here. Then you make sure that the drop down says collaborate, and there's an option invite with link. If I click that, a panel pops up, might take a second. What you can do is just type your own Apple ID, and then you get a link that you can share with anyone. Anyone who has that link can enter your note and view it or edit it, depending on what permissions you gave them. Before you had to send it directly to someone, to a specific person, but now you can have a link that can be used by multiple people. Now, another thing I want to show you is about locked notes. If I go to notes and settings, you'll see that for the notes that you have locked, you can now choose whether the password that you want to use to protect your locked notes is a custom password, which is how it was before, or whether you want to use your Mac's login password. And on iPhone and iPad, this becomes your um, key code, right? The pin code that you use to log in to your iPhone or iPad. So I've got this set to use login password because that means that my notes will be just as well encrypted as they were before, but I have to remember one less password. I mean, I use a password manager anyway, but it's nice to not have a separate password for this. On iPhone, you can now use Quick Note. To set that up, just go to your settings app, then go to Control Center, and then scroll down until you find the entry for Quick Note. Tap the plus symbol, next to Quick Note. And now, if you are, say, in Safari, looking at an article, you can pull up Control Center by swiping in from the top right and clicking or tapping that Quick Note button. This will create a new Quick Note, just like it has worked on iPad. And you can add a link by tapping the Add Link button to that article. And I can write something about this article if I want, but this time I'm just going to save it. Now, if I go to my Notes app, You'll see that there's a new note here, but also if I just go one folder up, you can see that there's a new Quick Notes section here, and I can tap that, and this is the note. It functions like a normal note, even though it's called a Quick Note. If I tap the link, it's going to go back to the article. This is really handy for taking quick notes on something that you're reading on your phone. So what should you do with these new features? 
If you enroll in my Apple Notes course, which I just launched, you'll learn about everything that Apple Notes has to offer. But more importantly, you'll learn a workflow for organizing your notes, your documents, and your reference material so you can find exactly what you need when you need it. The link to the course is in the description below the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.